fiery paceman Brett Lee is planning to shake up the Indians when the third test starts at the MCG on Boxing Day. Lee returns to the test team after two months out of action due to injury. With Australia one down in the series, Brett Lee is well aware of his job come Boxing Day. The fiery paceman plans to rattle the Indians' cages on his return to the test team. The reason why I'm in the Australian team is to bowl fast to bowl fast and hopefully take wickets. Since recovering from an abdominal strain and ankle surgery, Lee has played two Pura Cup matches for New South Wales. Taking six wickets in the game against Tasmania, just completed at the SCG. Um, I got through a lot of overs. I bowled 30 overs in the first innings and I bowled about 22 in the second. So certainly the, the match fitness is back, which was the most important thing. Body feels great. Lee's inclusion in place of the injured Jason Gillespie is the only change to the team, which was beaten in the second test in Adelaide. What a wonderful moment for Indian cricket. They'll be hurting. They don't like losing any game, whether it's a test match or a one day or what have you. So I think they'll come out firing in all cylinders. The stakes are high in Melbourne. India can secure an historic series victory if they can upset the Australians once more. But second test hero Rahul Dravid says the tourists aren't looking too far ahead. Our goal is not to look at the results. Our goal is to do the processes right and, uh, and, and to concentrate on uh, and doing our basics and achieving our team plans and our goal plans. Chris Hodgkinson, National 9 News. New South Wales has fallen ag agonisingly short of an outright victory in its Pura Cup cricket match against Tasmania at the SCG. Chasing 176 to win, the Blues had reached 3 for 175 at Stumps and the match was drawn. It was an easy win for Victoria over Western Australia at the Wacker, the Bush Rangers home by an innings and 158 runs. Light winds are predicted for Boxing Day's other major sporting event, the Sydney to Hobart. The Weather Bureau is forecasting a gentle southeasterly for the start, which could mean the fleet sails up Sydney Harbour under Spinnaker. The light conditions are expected to continue for the journey south, meaning crews on the smaller yachts may have to celebrate the new year at sea. Holden driver Mark Scaife has successfully appealed the penalty he received for his part in an altercation with Russell Engel in the final race of the V8 supercar season. Scaife was initially fined $10,000 and docked 30 championship points. But last night, the decision was overturned. The appeals panel found there wasn't su sufficient evidence to support a careless driving charge. Still to come in the morning news, the latest weather and Russell Crowe, master and commander and now father. Now for a look at the national weather. Sydney partly cloudy with a top of 25. Melbourne showers clearing in 23, Perth fine in 29 and Brisbane also fine heading for a top of 33. And finally, actor Russell Crowe has begun his most challenging role to date, that of father. Crowe slipped in via a back door at a Sydney hospital where wife Danielle Spencer gave birth to the couple's first child. The Oscar-winning actor was reportedly as proud as Punch. It was very hard to get the baby from him, actually. I mean, <laughs> he got hold of it and we kept saying, has anybody else got a chance of holding this baby, Russell? He said, I'm bonding, I'm bonding. Charles Spencer Crowe weighed in at 2.8 kilos, that's 6 pounds 2 ounces on the old scale. And that's the morning news this Tuesday. I'm Layla McKinnon. See you at the same time tomorrow.